So welcome to another episode of uh, DX Talks. We are uh, super happy for this episode. Uh, season five uh, has started uh, last month and we are really super proud to celebrate the second year uh, and one month now. So, uh, you know, bigger milestones, bigger cha challenges, uh, more involvement in the community. And today we're going to be discovering another involvement that we have been uh, involved in. So uh, today we will be having a COMEX uh, conference from Amman, Sultanate Amman. Uh, we will be joined by the CEO, Amir Abdullah. And then with that, uh, we will welcome him in a few seconds. This is a very high-end uh, conference in the, in the region. Uh, we are really, really super happy and proud to have uh, Mr. Amir and welcome him on board of uh, uh, the platform, but first. So welcome on board, Mr. Amir Babu. Uh, Tell us about your background. Please introduce yourself to our audience so they can know you better. Sure. Uh, thank you so much, Shuridi, and it's a pleasure to be here with you and to be able to uh, share uh, some useful information uh, with you and your audience and your visitors on, on these talks. So uh, I'm Amr Baaboud. I am the uh, CEO of OITE Group. Uh, Comex, as we will be speaking about, is uh, one of the uh, major uh, exhibitions which we organize uh, here in Oman. Uh, just a little bit about the OIT group. Uh, this uh, organization is over 35 years old, uh, organizing uh, the largest events uh, in the country in uh, major industries. And you can say that we are the facilitators, um, the kind of drivers of uh, networking, of getting people together, getting people talking, getting the government, uh, business sector, and academia and society into one room discussing key issues and hopefully um, pushing for more innovation and more change. Uh, great. Uh, that is something we will be discussing even more further. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, COMEX, what's coming with COMEX. What is really COMEX? Uh, we told us about uh, the, the group. Uh, what are we expecting in COMEX? Sure. So COMEX itself uh, is an event which is focused on uh, technology, technology and ICT, uh, which is, I think for many people, one of the most exciting sectors because it is all about innovation, invention, about what is new. Uh, and as I'm sure you know, there are so many new technologies that have come up in recent years, but even over the last few decades and uh, COMEX itself, people ask me, what does COMEX actually mean? And the name COMEX actually comes from computer exhibition because this event is uh, 31 years old now. So at that time, computers were kind of the new big thing. The name hasn't changed, but of course, the technologies at this event have changed. But it's more than just an event. Uh, I like to call it an initiative, uh, which is being taken in Oman to uh, achieve Oman's 2040 vision, uh, which is uh, strengthening the economy, strengthening society uh, to achieve our national objectives uh, through using the latest technologies to make our businesses more efficient, to make our uh, businesses more lean, our government uh, sector uh, more effective and society more aware about what are the technologies which they can use to improve their lives, to make their lives easier, to uh, improve their businesses and um, uh, encourage development and growth. Yeah, a very interesting 31st edition. Uh, you know, this is a milestone by itself, uh, running for 31, uh, ep not episodes, uh, conferences. Uh, it's, yes. it's a big event and it's a big, uh, you know, every year you're, you're repeating the same work. Uh, the, the growth is, is exceptional. Uh, who are your partners uh, this year? And was it from the government or from the uh, private uh, part? 
Of course, sure. So yes, I can mention 31 years, uh, the event has continued to grow and the support has continued uh, to grow as well as more people, more organizations have understood the importance of this event in the overall strategy uh, of, uh, of, of our country here. Uh, the uh, support we get is great. So uh, Aman uh, 2040 uh, vision, uh, which is the kind of unit which ensures that by 2040 we have to achieve certain milestones, is a supporter of the event. Uh, and the head of this organization, His Excellency Dr. Hamis uh, Al Jabri, will be opening the, the exhibition itself. We then have the Ministry of Transport, Communications and Information Technology, who we call MTCIT, who is responsible for the digital transformation and uptake of technology in the country. Uh, and as you know, uh, um, Mustat was announced as the Arab digital capital for 2022. So they're also using this uh, show as something to show why Mustat has won this award. And we have other strategic partners, for example, OITS, the Oman Information Technology Society, uh, bringing all together all the IT professionals in the country. We have OPAL, which is the Oman Society for Petroleum Services, which is Oman's Oil and Gas Society. Uh, and then other, other partners who we also have, for example, Oman Technology Fund, who are investing up to 1 million US dollars in uh, 10 startups at Comex. Wow, very, very interesting. And I love that uh, you, Oman was uh, chosen as the digital capital, and that's al already an achievement. You know, our, our talk show and our platform is called uh, Digital Transformation Talks, which is DX Talks, uh, and it touches the digital leaders uh, in, the, in the region, especially in the MENA, because this is our focus. So we yeah. are very proud to be also part of this whole uh, transformation that is really happening in the region and actually led by uh, the Gulf in specific uh, Muscat uh, and uh, also followed by UAE and, and the rest of the neighboring countries. So uh, achievement after achievement and uh, you know uh, having this event uh, in COMEX also being commemorized and, uh, and emphasized of the role of digital in our lives is, is really crucial. Yes, no, I definitely agree with that. The role is, is really crucial and it's, it's only increasing. Um, uh, some of the reasons why uh, Muscat, uh, just briefly, uh, have won this award is to do with its um, uh, technically uh, able youth uh, who are um, technically able to use uh, the new technologies, the emerging technologies, and also relating to the uh, capabilities which we have when it comes to cybersecurity, uh, for, for example, and also the uh, connection uh, of data uh, with Oman being a strategic country uh, through the connection and transfer of data uh, throughout the region. Uh, Oman is still, I feel, um, at the beginning of the road, but there's a lot of capabilities and potential and uh, COMEX and uh, the Arab Digital Capital Award highlights what we believe a man can achieve uh, in the upcoming years. Yeah, thank you, uh, Ahmed. Um, now I'm going to ask you, also we will be running Tech Ventures, if you don't mind telling us more, because also I will be talking about uh, Excellence uh, Technology Award uh, which I'm also part of, uh, and then we're happily also part uh, of this initiative as a media sponsor. So we're really involved, and I would love to know more first about the tech ventures, and then we'll follow on the on the technology awards. For sure. So uh, Comex traditionally has focused on the largest tech companies uh, from Oman and beyond. Uh, of course, there's many countries, uh, many many organizations who participate at Comex from the UAE, from the region and internationally, uh, who tend to be leaders uh, and uh, much larger organizations with international presence. But for us, uh, we believe that uh, the startups, uh, startup companies within technology are very, very exciting. They are very scalable. They can grow very, very quick. Uh, these are the companies which there's a lot of interest from the um, government, from investment uh, funds, uh, from investors generally, because uh, the, the return on them is great and the innovations and inventions which they, they have uh, can really change uh, many of our 
ecosystems uh, in, in the world. So for this reason, we have our tech venture zone. We're having around 100 uh, startups uh, from Amman and beyond who will be present there. Uh, firstly, of course, to get exposure because we bring in all the investors, all the decision makers in the country to come and meet with them and see what are the products and services or even ideas which they have and are they likely to succeed. And if we can start to provide them with contracts, with work, uh, with partnership and with investment. So these startups are available at Comex and it's like the, we like to call it the nursery of Comex because there's been examples of companies who have come to Comex as a startup and within two or three years have then gone on to the enterprise level to join the much larger companies. So this is a, so much excitement, a lot of youth involved and this is really the future of Comex and technology. Yeah, great, great. Uh, let's talk a little bit, a little bit about uh, the Comex Technology uh, Award. Uh, what's going to uh, happen? Uh, I know I, I don't want to indulge from my side because I'm a judge, so I'll, I'll leave the, the floor uh, to you so you can uh, you know, uh, involve our, our uh, audience more to understand who is involved and uh, what's going to happen. For sure. So this is the Comex Awards for Excellence in D. It's the second edition. Uh, last year it was fully virtual, so this is the first physical edition of the, these awards. These are prestigious awards which are given to the uh, private sector or government organizations who have really excelled when it comes to technology. Uh, something really unique or something which has made a really big change uh, within an organization or within society. Uh, the purpose of these awards is to uh, firstly appreciate success, to award success, uh, to in, um, increase competition, to encourage healthy competition, uh, to allow organizations to understand where, where do they stand, you know, how do they compare to others in, in the same field, for example. Uh, so it's like a best practice to encourage best practice and to get exposure into all the latest and great things which are being done by individuals and organizations. So uh, as, as you mentioned, you are on the jury panel. There is an independent jury panel who was carefully chosen. Uh, from those who add a lot of value, who are able to understand uh, from a tech side uh, who has done something really unique uh, and to be able to award those who really, really deserve this. So uh, this, um, these submissions have now closed and the awards will be given at Comex uh, in a special award ceremony uh, in front of the Undersecretary of MTCIT and many other VIPs. Great, great. That's it's really nice to you know inspire the region, uh, especially uh, after COVID and what happened. Uh, you know, we're coming from somehow a dark time where, in the same time, technology has really played a role. So uh, I'm really eager to go into the the selection process that has been sent, and we see more what what are the projects and and so on. Uh, really interesting. So uh, the dates are 23rd and 25th of May, which is uh, next week in the Oman Convention uh, and Exhibition Center from 9 to uh, 8 p.m., 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, do you mind telling us or telling us more if you have to conclude or uh, any, you know, last information so our audience, how they can register? I will be putting also links down in the, in the description uh, so you can also uh, check them out and all of the related information. So uh, the floor is yours uh, for your uh, last intervention. For sure, thank you. So um, I think it's important to understand that COMEX is a big confidence boost, not just for uh, the ICT sector, but also for, for Oman and business in general. Uh, we have more participants at COMEX this year than ever before. This is because of the uh, great things that have been achieved in ICT and the awareness uh, that has come from such events and uh, people understanding that technology can really take us leaps, leaps forward. So people are very excited and there's so much success that's going to be shared and really uh, important knowledge uh, and the latest technology products uh, will, will be showcased here. So I encourage all of you to join. In order to, in order to register, uh, either you, uh, if you attend the event physically, it's very simple, you turn up, uh, you will be asked to download the Comex app 
uh, which just takes a few seconds and you will be able to enter into the event. There's no pre-registration required. Uh, secondly, you could also attend this event uh, virtually through a 3D uh, event where you have an avatar and you're able to explore the event exactly as it uh, looks at the Amman Convention Center. So it's a very special technology. I recommend you to also try the virtual uh, platform. It's, it's, it's very fun and it's, it's very creative. Uh, to know more about the virtual platform, please visit uh, comex.om, comex.om where you can find out how to register for the virtual platform and where you can get all the full information about the comics exhibition and initi initiative itself. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Amir, for joining us, uh, Comex CEO. And uh, this is the link that we're sharing here and it will be also shared in the description. So uh, do join, do register. Was it physical or virtual or even on your uh, virtual goggles? And I think this step is also, you know, going towards the future and what the metaverse is possibly going to take us because the future of the metaverse will be also integrated with your events, I'm sure, in the, in the near future, which is already uh, as part of it. So I would like to thank you again. Uh, wish you all the best and all the luck in, uh, in, in the coming uh, week. I know this is the... The week of, of weeks, you know, you've been preparing, uh, especially, you know, after uh, COVID and virtually, this is, uh, we're coming back physically. So uh, a lot of challenges, uh, a lot of uh, busy bees, uh, as they say, have working in the background. Uh, your team is super, uh, super busy, super uh, ready also for, for next week. Uh, again, uh, don't forget to join 24th and 25th of May. Uh, uh, so uh, make sure to, uh, sorry, 23rd to the 25th of, uh, of May uh, from 9 a.m. Uh, to uh, 8 p.m. Uh, it will be in uh, Muscat. So do and see you soon. Thank you for being with us and cheers. Thank you so much and thank you to the audience as well. We look forward to welcoming, welcoming you all.